Well, looks like my Bowden tube is angry at me again. As you can see, it's no longer staying in the fitting. I've already retracted my filament, and now it's time to replace the Bowden tube. Before we get to it, let's take off the little blue clip and set it aside so we don't lose it. So I'll just leave it on the bed. I'm sure I'll lose it. And loosen this fitting. Once it's loosened, you can hand unscrew it. And there it is. Take your fitting, set it aside next to your blue clip so you don't lose that. And looking at the Bowden tube, I can see definitely time for change. With the hot ended temperature, loosen this fitting about one to two turns maybe. I'll explain why later. You may or may not have your Bowden tube clipped in, but I do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and release it from all the zip ties. That way I can just pull it right out of the hot end in one shot. Since I can't get the tube out of the fitting, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the fitting and work on it while it's off the machine. Bowden tube's been removed with the fitting, and this side of it hasn't been too bad. No melt issues, some filament in there, you can't see it, but overall not bad. So I'm gonna remove the fitting, cut a new Bowden tube, and replace it. Now some of you might be saying, why not just cut the, uh, the bad end and just shorten up, put it back in? You're probably right, save some cost, but then again, Bowden tubes are cheap enough. You know what? Might as well start with a new one. So I bought some fresh Bowden tubing, which actually came with two new fittings. So I'm gonna replace them both and take these old ones and toss them. The reason why I'm gonna replace them is because if you can see inside, you may not be, there are little teeth that grab the Bowden tube. Over time, taking these in and out, and actually this clip, it's not really depressing like it should, they get worn out. This one that was on the hot end, same thing, has those little teeth inside, and you can see it gets a little war torn. So you know what? No big deal in replacing with a new brand new one. With the Bowden tube out and the fittings, let's go ahead and start replacing with the new ones. Push this one on the extruder. This one we can tighten up right away. No big deal. And give it a nice little snug fit. It won't back out. And before I do the hot end, I always like to use my no clogger, not sponsored, and just give it a little cleaning of the nozzle, get any old filament out that might be jammed in on the sides. And you can see I am pulling some stuff out already. With the hot end nice and clean, let's go ahead and put this fitting in, but I'm not gonna tighten this one down. Now with it bottomed out, I'm just gonna back this off about maybe one and a half, two turns. I strapped the new Bowden tube in, and now I'm gonna go ahead and set it into the extruder, lock it into place. It's in there nice and tight, no movement, and I'm gonna drop it into the hot end. And now I'm gonna slip this end of the Bowden tube all the way into the hot end until it stops. That means it's bottomed out to the top of the nozzle. Now, the reason I had this backed off by one and a half to two turns is because you want a snug fit between the Bowden tube and the nozzle. Now, while this is pressed up against the nozzle, tightening this will make it even tighter against the nozzle. So that way there'll be no leakage between the Bowden tube and the nozzle itself. I just realized I was turning this left instead of right. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. It's hard to do this while you're recording. <laughs> now it's nice and snug on both ends. We're gonna replace the little blue clip. Sort of, ah, can't do it, very hard. It's a small clip. There you go. Blue clip is in, hot end is ready to go. Let's test it out. Cut the film at a nice 45 degree angle and then feed it into the extruder. Well, I'll show you that afterwards. I can't do that with one hand. Let's go ahead and extrude some filament and see how we did. Also, anytime you're cutting Bowden tube, make sure you're using the supplied cutter or something that'll make sure that you'll have that Bowden tube end cut perfectly flat so that way it fits snug against the nozzle. 